Here are the day one highlights from Albany in Western Australia. This is the power pole round of the Costa Brim series. We had a field of half locals and half interstaters taking on the waters of Oyster Harbour on a wet, wild and woolly day. Let's start off with Albany local Callum Dow. Now Callum caught a decent limit of fish which had him in third place but unfortunately he sped in the ski zone up the Calgon River. Now Callum's a great sport, he self-reported and self-disqualified his bag so he's starting from scratch tomorrow. Here are a couple of his fish from today. Not huge, but it's a start. Being a local, Callum knows all of the spots in this place and fish from one end of the arena to the other. Right up the top of the Cowgan River, where a lot of boats can't even get to. And he looks like he's just come up. <laughs> That's number five. Steve Morgan won the event the last time ABT visited Albany, but he's at the other end of the leaderboard today. Didn't break me or anything. <sighs> that little hook. Another West Aussie local, Didier, ran a camera for us today. Caught plenty of fish, but none of the right ones. Might be a nice legal size for that. One of the youngest competitors in the field this week is Joseph Gardner and currently sitting in fifth place, the boy has skills. And finally, New South Welshman Mark Crompton is a great supporter of the ABT series and he's sitting in second place with a 2.17 kilo bag. We don't have any footage of our Lister's 4.63 kilo bag, but we're pretty sure that this is the very first time in ABT Brim where the leader's weight is over double that of second place. He's a 28 and a half tip. Whoa! 
Now watching through Mark's footage, we can see that him and Stewie Walker on board with him caught over a hundred brim today and they filtered through the smaller fish to get to the legals. Well, that's it for the first day's highlights from the Power Pole round at Albany. Full results on www.abt.org.au.